list. I'm excited about today's list. Do you know what inspired today's list? Now, I'm old enough to remember this. I don't know if everyone else is old enough to remember this. But April 9th, 1981, a Mexican star pitcher with a quirky delivery became an, an, certainly a national and, I suppose, international sensation. Fernando Valenzuela made his major league debut on this day in 1981. So that's 40 years ago. My God, 40 years ago. Fernando Mania was a thing. I'm telling you, it was about as big a deal as I've seen in baseball before, since, or otherwise. And so in honor of that, we have put together my list of the five great sports manias. The five players or teams that just turned into a phenomenon that just sort of rose above the regular mundane here and there and daily business of sports. Number five. Number five is Lynn Sanity. Jeremy Lynn. This was so short-lived, it's hard to believe how quickly it went by. But from February 4th through March 24th of 2012, Jeremy Lynn became the biggest star in the NBA. He scored 38 points and outdueled Kobe in a game against the Lakers, hit a game-winning three four days later against the Raptors. His run came to an end when Mike D'Antoni resigned and Lynn got hurt. In all, he played 35 games for the Knicks, averaging 14.5 points and six assists. But in that little window, and if you were paying attention, you know exactly what I'm talking about, Lynn Sanity was the biggest thing in the sport. Number four. It wasn't nearly as big, however, as Dennis Rodman when Rodman got to Chicago. And yes, he wore a wedding dress and married himself and dated Carmen Electra and Madonna and took time off to go to Vegas and wrestled with Hulk Hogan and had an MTV reality show. All those things were true. Let me tell you, why wreck my never ending recollection of Dennis Rodman in Chicago was there was a men's store called Bigsby and Crothers in Chicago, which is where everybody who had money shopped. I aspired to shop there when I was a kid reporter in Chicago. I couldn't afford to shop at Bigsby and Crothers. And Bigsby and Crothers put this big billboard, this big sign, this big picture of Rodman on the, the highway, on the Kennedy Expressway coming into the city. And it destroyed traffic. People were stopping and taking pictures, literally stopping their car on the expressway to take pictures of the Rodman billboard. It was that kind of epic. And candidly, it was excruciating because traffic is already a nightmare on the Kennedy, and that only made it worse. But Dennis Rodman, when I tell you Rodman, when he gets to Chicago in 96, that was like a circus, I guess, both literally and Number figuratively. Three. Number five is the Heatles, speaking of a circus. When LeBron, D. Wade, and Chris Bosh came together, that was just something above and beyond. It hadn't happened before, and it all came because of the decision. LeBron makes the decision. The decision is televised. People are losing their minds. We all remember what happened in Cleveland. These three guys, as Stan Van Gundy once famously said, they held a celebration before they held a practice. <laughs> And LeBron said, not one, not two, not three, not four. We all remember what happened. But that just brought an unprecedented level of attention. They became the Heatles, the Miami Heat. It was a show unlike any other. Number two. And number two is Fernando Mania. Again, I, we're going back a long way. It's 40 years ago. It started today. But Fernando Mania, when he pitched, it's hard to explain what a big deal it was. But he had this quirky delivery, and he just was he was a, a, a larger-than-life personality on those Lasorda Dodger teams. Fernando Valenzuela was a thing. At a time when not too many things were a thing, he became a thing. Number one. But number one, I'm going to go with Tebow mania, Tebow time. When Tim Tebow, that one year in Denver, it just became something I've never seen before, and I don't know that we'll ever see again. The attention that was paid to Tim Tebow playing quarterback that one season in Denver, I'm not sure that I can explain it. I'm not sure I can explain exactly how or why it became what it became, but it genuinely became something bigger than sports in ways that I will remain fascinated by forever. And, and knowing Tim a little as I do, I will continue to always feel bad for the way that thing went. That guy never got a chance after that to try and be a quarterback. And all he did when he was in Denver, he may not have made it, always looked the part, but all he did was win. And that is today's green list, the top five manias in sports in honor of the 40th anniversary of the debut of Fernando Valenzuela. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.